and prosper. You are now tuned into the Money Level Show. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Money Level Show where we think, act, and prosper. And today we're going to go through something new. This is something that I haven't uh, been able to do with you guys. Uh, it's also something that I've also been learning uh, for the past few months. And so I'm learning to do more technical charts and uh, looking at certain stocks and investments and looking at what are the charts saying for these particular investments so that I can set myself up for a profitable future. And if you want to think, act and prosper, you can do so as well. Uh, this isn't financial advice, but I wanted to show you guys some things that I am looking at in the market. So today you will not be seeing my pretty face, but uh, you all know I still got the good looks going on though. You know what I'm saying? Huh? <laughs> but yeah, back to the video. So today what I'm looking at is a stock called CGC, which is Canopy Growth Corporation. This is a marijuana stock just to forewarn anyone who may have any type of moral conviction against marijuana. For me, I personally don't have a moral conviction towards marijuana. Uh, I do not smoke marijuana. I used to, but um, now I am a moral when it comes to marijuana in a sense of I just want to make money. So uh, that's where I come from with this. So uh, what I'm looking at is CGC. So I'm expecting going forward, some things going forward next year. You have the 2022 uh, elections for the Senate. And I am looking forward to uh, just the heated topic about marijuana. And I do know that a lot of the senators are going to try to uh, get more votes and they're going to be behind legalizing marijuana. We've seen more and more states legalize marijuana for medicinal or recreational use. Uh, for me, I know a lot of marijuana users, especially in the state of Washington, where it is legal and it is legal for medicinal and recreation. Uh, so I am looking at this stock as as an opportunity to profit in the future. And so here are some things that I'm looking at. So these are candlestick charts. I haven't went through a video with you guys of how candlestick charts work. However, uh, the red bars are bars that close uh, lower uh, when the stock are, is closed lower. So right now we're looking at the weekly chart, as you can see in this corner, the one week. So each bar or candlestick on this represents a week. So a uh, week time frame. So when you see the red bar, that means that it opened up here and it closed lower and vice versa for the green bars it opened here at the bottom and it closed higher as we can see this particular stock has been up to close to sixty dollars uh, a share at one point and went up to 56 i think this probably had something to do with the short squeeze or something like that uh when uh, wall street bets was getting in there uh, but there was other times where the stock was pretty high as well like back in uh, april of 2019 it hit 52 dollars a share um, and it hit $51 a share on, and back in March of 2019. So, uh, as you can see, the, these are, these, uh, this stock has went up and it has went higher, um, on multiple occasions. Uh, I mean, if you go back here, you can see the stock went up to about 59, close to $60 a share. Uh, so the stock has, has its runs and its ups and downs. It's not just going down. So when we look at uh, where it is uh, this past week, uh, it closed pretty low, about 874, somewhere around there. So when you're looking at that, you're like, okay, is the stock going to bounce back or what? Uh, what are we looking for when we're looking at this chart? And so just to, just to forewarn you all, I am not an expert on this. I am learning myself. Uh, so please be gracious with me if you are a expert at technical charts. But uh, these are some things that I'm just wanting to point out as I'm looking at this stock. Uh, so I've explained what a candlestick is. Uh, the other thing with the line is that this is during the day what it traded for during the day. So it opened on this candle. It opened at forty dollars and thirty two cents a share. It closed at uh $43 and 16 cents a share. So, but when you look at the line, the line, it goes further than that. So it may have opened at, uh, let's see, 
uh, well, actually, it closed at $40 a share and it opened at $43. So it may have opened at $43. It may have shot all the way up here to about $56 a share that, that week. So remember, we're looking at the weekly chart. Uh, and then it went down to about um, somewhere around uh, $38 a share. And then it closed at $40 a share. So that's how uh, the candlestick reads. So uh, what we're looking at currently is um, this this specific candlestick right here and what has been the trend over the last however many weeks. So, uh, I mean, since March, we've seen that the stock has been just in a decline. So it's been declining down and um, the low for this last week was somewhere around 874, 868, somewhere like that. So what we're going to look for is the support level so the support is where uh investors normally come in to start buying stocks because you want to buy stocks at the low right you don't want to buy up here and then be left holding the bag you know you want to buy down here when it's low so support is where the stock rarely goes through support uh rarely goes through that line so i currently have a support line for uh about uh, it's about eight dollars and fifty cents uh, this blue line down here so if you go and look at previous weeks of of when uh, the stock hit this low this is a support line that I grabbed from October of 2017 because if you as you can see since October 2017 it hasn't went below this blue line it's gotten close like back in March of 2020 it got close um, and then it shot all the way up to uh, close to 60 bucks a share. Uh, but it hasn't got as low as as it was in um, what is that October of 2017. So uh, we can see this as support. This is a good support level uh, around eight dollars and 50 cents a share, eight dollars, 46 cents a share. Uh, so right now, when we're looking at this last week, we're seeing that it was a big uh, downtrend the stock uh, downtrended for the week um, and then when we zoom in to look at this the stock opened at about a 946 let me zoom in some more for you guys just so you can see better the stock opened about 952 um, and then the low for the day was actually let's see 871 and then the high for the day was about 978 so that was about a dollar difference in the share and then uh, it closed at about 959 a share so this is for the week it closed about 959 a share so those are some of the things that i'm looking at when i'm looking at okay is this a good investment so history tells me that um the last time the stock was around this level about eight dollars and 49 cents was back in October of 2017 we're currently in December of 2021 and it has not pierced this line since then it has not pierced this blue line since then uh, since October of 2017 and it's actually in a bull run during that time if you go back uh, to October 2017 I mean the stock was actually you know trailing that uh, that line you know, and having that, that was like a resistance line for a while, um, for a lot of these weeks and pretty much, um, it hasn't been down that low since a long time. So, and I'm expecting that, uh, this upcoming year, uh, marijuana is going to be a topic that, uh, the Senate, uh, the senators are going to focus on and that they're going to try to get behind and try to get more votes. I mean, obviously, uh, we know how politicians work. And so as we can see for this week, um, it was a good time to buy, uh, because the stock hasn't been below 850 in a long time. So as we can see, the market rallied it back and it ended up closing at 959. I expect it to be a bullish week coming up. And, um, that's what I'm looking forward to. So I'm actually accumulating shares of this. Uh, I, I don't have a price target for what it's going to go up to. Um, but I do believe that it is projected to go higher. Um, I'll have to do a resistance line, which the resistance line is pretty much um, what is a line that it hasn't hit for a long time. When it hits a certain point, 
um, where it struggles to get past that line. And so if I look at like a recent resistant line, I may, I may pick something like, you know, this April 21st, you know, whenever the market, uh, it went down, it hasn't got past this line in a long time. Um, and as you can see these weeks right here, it, it still hasn't gotten up to that, uh, $28 and 40 cents level. Uh, so that may be a resistance, uh, for me. Um, but I'm looking at this as more of a short term trade. Uh, this isn't something that I'm planning on uh, buying and holding for years, um, such as like some of the precious metal stocks or uh, cryptocurrencies and things like that. But this is something that I'm expecting to go up and to make a decent amount of profit on. So I hope this was helpful today. I look forward to doing more of this with you all, uh, just because I know we focus a lot on the fundamentals and the macro view of a lot of things. I do want to get into specific trades of what I'm looking at in the markets and, and some opportunities that we can make money on. And again, this is not financial advice. You invest at your own risk. Uh, you have to assess your own risk tolerance and, and how much money you would like to uh, throw into a, a particular security or a particular stock or crypto or whatnot. Uh, so you have to assess that yourself and what is your tolerance. And so for me, I'm not throwing my whole life savings into this stock. But however, I am I am investing in it because I believe that it's going to go up. And so I just want to give you all that information. So I want to thank you all for joining the Money Level Show today. I will be trying to do this about at least uh, once a week, maybe twice a week, looking at certain stocks and what, what I'm expecting with those stocks uh, to, to happen. So uh, I want to thank you all for joining me today and y'all have a good day.